Hi, welcome to Arcane Moussa, vlog number 8 on the Doctor Who Pinball Restoration. Yeah, and today we are on the painting of the inside of the cab and some edges too. So I'll be using the trim clad uh, semi gloss black. And I don't know if I will have enough of it to do all the inside of the cab, but uh, if I don't, I'll go buy more. Isn't it beautiful? I just love the finish of a painted cabinet. It looks amazing and once all the gear will be installed, everything will just pop and look great. I know, we're not playing inside the cabinet. I know, it's overkill. But those kind of babies, we just want to take care of them. And it's always cool to just, you know, when you lift the hood of your car, and look, everything is in pristine main condition. Well. That's the goal here. Uh, I painted the edge because when I will be putting the side diggles, you know, I will be making some kind of little retreat uh, all around. I didn't paint it where there will be, of course, the the side rails or the coin door or the lockdown. I just put it where the cab will show. And I did a little painting at the back too. Uh, this piece of wood has a lot of chip at the bottom. But it's still structurally pretty strong, and uh, there's nothing, uh, and it will be just fine to put the nylon pad on it. But it really saves the day. I should have shown you what it looks like before, but there was a lot of dent and scratches at the back. Now it looks brand new. Love that. Okay, so um, I will let this to dry, and well, we'll get it on with actually all the gear that will be populating the cab. We have a box full of gear waiting to be clean as well as coin door and a transfo but I like to start with what I like the most and when I say that is because it's such an... this is the part that you always see in bad bad condition it receives all kind of bad treatment like beer that pour down the window and drip on it and it's rusted and I just love bringing back to a, an almost pristine new condition so let's scrub that thing well looks pretty brand new to me oh yeah and I of course put new stickers and foams on it doesn't look good I even adjusted the little knock mechanism but I was wondering what those little screws are for. They're not there as a spacer for the lockdown bar. They're here to apply some pressure on the locking bar. So it makes sure that it goes perfectly down at the bottom and actually brought, bring the, the lockdown bar as tight as possible on the cabinet. So if you have a wobbly lockdown bar, you know, you put your hand on the pinball and it's shaky. Well, just adjust those two screws, screw them down, it will apply more tightness to the, to the lockdown bar. And it should be looking a little bit like that. Because of course I painted the little border here. The lock mech is clean as well as the window rail at the back, the transfo wire harness have been well clean I, I'm not dipping that into the water but I'm, I'm doing a surface cleaning it does a lot of good the corn door is in great shape 
also please note that this is a euro door this is not um, a regular us door the game is an import and the only thing i really have to do uh, about it is to actually change the little sticker on the test button what you think about that it's pretty cool speaker grill is clean as well as the half of the back grill do you think it was a luxury I don't think so <laughs> somebody was smoking inside that cab or what <laughs> so let's do the other half I started to drop some stuff inside the cab like the speaker grill the transfo and all the gears but right now what I need to put most is the ground braid and I put every middle part in my ultrasonic cleaner and I'm gonna be putting this to work for let's see 380 there's a lot of stuff shake it up shiny shiny stuff of course some some things will need to be kind of rebuff or reclean like this bolt anyway will be repainted even though I, it doesn't feel like it needed but who knows I'll see uh, this will definitely be needed in more polish but I, at least I removed a first crush crust of dirt uh, yeah yeah I'm pretty surprised ah uh, yeah and especially the ground braid well th this one was put first so I'm better pull out like yeah love what I'm seeing so this tool the ultrasonic cleaner is doing a lot of job and I'm doing a, a first clean with that and afterward I will do some cleaning if needed but most of the part look quite pristine condition everything was dirty like this was full of oxidation and it looks amazing yeah this is the bracket that locks the head and this is the bracket where the interlock switch goes okay so I'll go on and I won't be filming all of that but most of all I'm, I'm quite pleased with how the cleaning turned out so <laughs> tell me you don't want one ground braid has been replaced following the exact pattern as when it was removed and now it's time to reassemble all of this inside the cab cabinet is almost done being all geared up I also put the flipper fidelity upgrade subwoofer speaker which comes with a huge coil here that's a pretty impressive thing um, I also installed the volume control here and uh, I won't be able to complete the, the inside of the cab until I have a put all the wiring harness which is currently drying it been it has been completely clean and rinse and now drying step and this will be done on vlog number nine so that's it for vlog number eight hope you enjoy it on vlog number nine installing the wiring harness and the side diggles it's gonna look pretty good so stay tuned like share subscribe everything you want. Ciao!